Hi everyone, it's Anya here and I'm back with another video for Ophelia Talks. Today I am showing you how to make the Sweetheart Baby Doll Blanket, which is in fact on Layla's bed. I will also tell you the multiples so you can make it any size you want. For this blanket I made my own colour cake and I used the following colours. Starcraft Special Decay in Parchment. Pale Rose, Duck Egg, and Soft Peach. So in addition to the four colours, you will also need your hook, of course. I use a three and a half, even though this Starcraft Special DK is prescribed as a four, so that's your preference or your tension. Scissors, darning needle, I used my yarn winder to wind up four strands of the colours so I could use that for my tassels and to attach the tassels I am using a big hook, doesn't matter which size it is, I just use this hook to pull through the tassels through the chain space that I created for them. I then used my yarn winder to turn them into a little cake and I used that for the blanket. All I had to do was add some more parchment towards the end which was good in a way because then I could use that for the border and the sides where I was going to attach the tassels. To get started for this blanket, we are going to make a slip knot. There we go. Insert your hook, close the loop, and we are going to chain 83. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I will see you when you have 83 chains. Okay, so I have 83 chains and now I'm going to keep my eye on the 83rd one here because this is the last stitch of my row. Now I am going to do two chains and these two chains are going to count as the first stitch of my row. Then I'm going to skip two stitches, these two here. And I'm going to work in the third stitch. So let me just count back from my hook. One, two, three, four, five chains skipped. Yarn over, working in the sixth chain. Picking up two strands of the V. You are going to do two double crochets. Then you do a chain and you do another two double crochets in that same stitch. Okay, so that's your sort of first repeat done. Then you are going to skip two stitches. One, two. In the third one, you're going to do a double crochet. Once again, skip two, one, two, into the third one, you are going to do two double crochets, a chain, and two double crochets. Okay, so your stitch repeat is skip two, double crochet in the third, skip two, and two double crochets, a chain, and two double crochets in the third chain. So this is what you have to do in the first row, of course, because we're working on our chain. Okay, so... Continue like this, one, two, 
in the third a double crochet then one two in the third a shell and i will see you at the end of the row and then i will show you how to do the next rows because of course we don't have the chains to skip anymore but i'll tell you where to place your stitches so i have done my last shell i now have three stitches left skip two and do your last double crochet now the reason why we end in a double crochet is so that we have an edge stitch here and an edge stitch there so we have a nice straight edge on the sides and of course so our stitch repeat is six because here we use one two three four five stitches then we have the double crochet so that's six stitches so we do a multiple of six plus one so we started here with our multiple of six and then that would have given us this right so we added the two chain for the turning chain of course but the below here is five plus then the border stitch the sixth one here so we have six stitches we keep repeating that pattern so starting with the double crochet then the shell double crochet shell each time six stitches and then here of course double crochet shell and then we have the two stitches that still belong to the shell but then of course here we have to add a double crochet one stitch so we can finish the round then we are going to chain two turn your work and this time you are going to place your shell in the chain space of the shell below so two double crochets a chain and two double crochets and then you put your double crochet on top of the double crochet and off you go you just keep doing the same thing the shell into the chain space of the shell the double crochet on top of the double crochet it's a really lovely and easy pattern to repeat and as you can see it creates a lovely structured fabric for a small blanket but also of course for a bigger blanket so if you wanted to increase the size of this blanket then all you have to do is do a multiple of six plus one for that end border stitch and then of course for your turning chain you use a chain two so i hope that you can um, convert this to the size of blanket that you would like but like i say um, you know it's a nice stitch whichever size you make it so now we are going to do 42 rows i will see you when you are ready to start the border so when you've done your 42 rows you're going to do a row just to straighten the edge up here and we're going to start with just one chain then you turn and then you're going to do two chains one two go to the chain space and you do a slip stitch there there we go one two chains go to the double crochet and do a single crochet there the double crochet is a little bit, little bit lower than where your chain space is positioned so we need to make up a little bit of height there one two chains slip stitch in the chain space one two chains single crochet on top of the double crochet and that is how you're going to continue all along your last row here and let me just show you look this is now nice and straight when you come to the end you do your two chains and then in that turning chain you're going to do a single crochet there we go and that is the end of your last row so now that we've straightened up this we are ready to start doing our 
row of single crochets going all around. So chain one, turn, and we are going to do two single crochets in the chain space, one on top of the slip stitch. So do be careful making sure you pick up your two legs of the V. There we go. Two in the chain space. One on top of that single crochet. And that's how you are going to continue. So basically you are doing your same amount of stitches as your stitch repeat. So I'm going to continue and I'll meet you at the end of the row here. I have done here two single crochets in that last chain space, but in there, or at least in this turning chain, I should be doing a corner. So I'm going to try and get into the turning chain, picking up two strands there. That is going to be the location for my corner. So two single crochets, a chain, and another two single crochets into that same location. There we go. And that should have made us a corner. There we go. Look at that. OK, so now we are going to have to put single crochets onto these edge stitches that we did here. Now, here, of course, we knew how many stitches we had. We just replicated those. But here it's a little bit more difficult. We've got the length of a double crochet. OK, sort of about this, which is a double crochet here, which is two chains there, right? But I find, yeah, um, you don't do too many, but don't do too few either. So it's, um, it's a little bit of gauging it to see, you know, what distance you can bridge with one single crochet. Um, and generally, what I'm doing here at you know, always making sure that you're not pulling it together. So here I've just done one, one where they meet, one there. Mm, I think maybe that's not enough, but I'm not going to undo it. So I'll do two here, one where they meet or near there because it didn't go in there and another one there. Yeah, maybe two around each double crochet, around each chain space, but maybe that's too much. So it all depends on your tension and how sort of big your single crochets are. So keep a good eye on what you're doing here. Actually, you know what? I think doing two is going to work. Yeah, look. The fact that I didn't do two there is fine. You know, I'm not going to worry about that at all. If I had a border that required, you know, sort of precise amounts, then I would be worrying. But because we are doing tassels, it's not going to be so important. We can get away with a lot. <laughs> OK, so, yeah, this is going well. See, here I would be inclined to just do the one, but I am going to do the two because the decision has been made now. <laughs> OK, so I'll meet you at the end where I'm going to go and, of course, be doing a corner and then do the short edge again. So I've made it to the end of the row here. I've done my two single crochets. Now I have to find a location for my corner. So I'm just going to go in sort of right next to those two single crochets into what would have been sort of like the corner, almost pick up there, do one single crochet, another one, a chain and another one into that corner location there. And then, yeah, another one here, just gauge it again because you need a corner, but then you also need to start doing your side. So don't overload it too much. There we go. And one in the chain where the shell is in and then two where you've skipped one 
where the double crochet is in to where you've skipped. So let's take a look, see what we've done here. I think that's okay, right? So don't do too many, don't do too few. I think this is as much as you should do. So let's get on with doing our single crochets as we know where they can go. So two in the chain space, one in the chain where the shell is, two in the chain space, one in the chain where the double crochet is. So I've done my two last one in the chain space here again I'm finding that corner location and I'm making myself a corner. There we are and then of course we're on doing a side again and again I'm just gauging it at the beginning because obviously you want to see where you can place your single crochets best and what you know what you can what your side can take for the core after the corner so there you go okay that's okay and now we are going to go and place two single crochets into each opening again here like i did on the other side okay so i've made it to the end of the row here i've got my two last single crochets in the chain space i think i'm just going to add another one do a chain and then go to here to the other side sort of first V go under that and do a slip stitch there we go and that has created our corner now I'm going to do a chain turn and I'm going to do another four chains one two three four so in total we're going to do five chains and then you are going to skip two holes and sort of on top of the second post here, so one, two, there you're going to do a single crochet. Then one, two, three, four, five. Again, skip two holes on top of that second post, do a single crochet. One, two, three, four, five. And again, same thing. So this is how we are going to go all along the long side. Five and here. One, two, three, four, five. There. Now here at the end, I'm going to do a little chain space of two. Then I'm going to go into the corner do a single crochet so we've done half a chain space from here and now we chain five one two three four and five turn and this time you're going to go into the middle of the next chain space so there we go so we have made our trellis chain space one two three four five there we go and into there one, two, three, four, five, and into the middle of the next chain space with a single crochet. When you have finished this side, repeat the same on the other side, of course. Just start with a standing single crochet. So once again, here I end in half a box so I'm going to do two chains and then single crochet in that chain there underneath there we go okay so that's the end of our trellis I call this trellis <laughs> uh, to which we attach our tassels and as you can see here I have already gone ahead and put some tassels in because I just could not wait I cut off about sort of you know a good crochet hook length of four strands and then with my six and a half I take the strands put them over my finger like this then I go into the chain space from the back to the front I put my four strands over 
pull it through like this, make a big loop, then put my fingers in that loop, take the tassels and bring them through like this and pull them gently. Okay, so I've done the whole row already like this. And as you can see, they're all different lengths, basically. I mean, I wasn't very careful cutting it off. Okay, so I'm now going to continue doing the other ones here. I cut some lengths ready. So let me just do a couple more. And I have also, of course, already done the other side. So let me just show you. Right, so here we have all the little tassels done on the other side. And I have cut them all the same length. So what I did, and I'll do that here as well. Right, let me just do that. So you sort of comb them down. <laughs> and then, um, you know, sort of the shortest one, obviously, take that into account. But I am going to just go like this. I put it on the edge of my desk, so I wasn't cutting too slanted, but there you go. Okay, so I just cut them. This is risky now. I'm just doing this freehand. No guide whatsoever. <laughs> it's going well. It's going well. Okay, so there we go. So then I just cut them all the same length, and then your mini blanket will be finished or if you are doing a big blanket of course then it will be finished but yeah I always enjoy putting on the tassel so I'm just going to have my last go here where is it okay so yeah carefully of course I've wound too much up but that's okay I don't mind I'm sure I'll be able to use it for something else eventually so let me just cut off a length and continue doing the tassel. So I will see you in a moment with a few pictures of Layla on her bed. Before you go, please like and share this video. Ring the bell so you're notified of new videos. Join our community on Facebook and here are some more videos you might find interesting. Thank you so very much for watching and come back soon. Bye!